Yeah. <laughs> My name is Colin Jessup. I'm a building energy consultant from California. Just recently moved to uh, to this area, Guanacaste area, uh, near Paraiso, and um, I'm going to be building a new house down here in a in a in a year or so. But in in the meantime, uh, I've been involved in um, retrofitting an existing cabina here, which was not designed with any energy efficiency. Um, or green building perspective. Um, so I could talk a little bit about what we're doing here and why we're doing it. A couple, a couple of the problems here um, have been that there was not enough um, uh, controlled ventilation or planned ventilation in the in the in the building. So we have um, we have a, over on this side of the building over here um, where we have a, a cooler area that's usually damp and we have these banana trees here which take more water than usual we have put a couple of low low vents so our, our idea of this building right now is that we want to draw in cool um, cool air from low and we want to bring it through the building and we want it to come up through the clear story here which is going to be screened all, all around so the clear story has that purpose but it also has another purpose which is to bring light into the building down here the strategy is all about how to stay cool and how to stay cool without spending um, any money on a monthly basis for say air conditioning and I believe that, that we can build very comfortable passively cooled buildings down here that do not require air conditioning we have trees here that we that need to be thinned out and, and replaced, we need, we're looking towards more of a multi-species um, management of the forest. So that means that we can take out trees that are old, that are uh, perfectly good for building. We have these, the, this, this, most of the wood that we've been using here, like this right here, is, um, is just uh, lo local mel is melina. Um, we also have some pachote, but mostly we're using the, the melina. We have um, a local person that can uh, that can come in and can uh, can cut the uh, cut the pieces uh, can cut us beams uh, can cut us stock that we can then cut into uh, into other members like up here all of the wood that you see all the verticals and all the fr the heavier kind of like timber frame style up there that's all melina that has been uh, that's been cut down and then uh, hand planed um, and then, um, according to the design, course cut and, and, and put together. So, what we're doing with the cabina, in effect, is saying, okay, starting from, from a more traditional building, what are some of the things that we can do? What we're going to do at Pueblo Verde, when we're designing our buildings, we're going to do a full computer modeling. And that means that all of the materials and all the orientation of the building and the surfaces of the building will be input into a program, and the weather, the hourly weather, for this area, uh, probably Liberia International Airport is the next uh, local, is the nearest local uh, weather station. We'll be able to use all that information as a feedback loop in the design process. So before we've built anything, we will know how these buildings are going to perform in terms of uh, how cool they'll be at certain times during the day. As we're, as, as we're going through that feedback process, we make additional changes to get to the comfort level, get to our, the, the, the comfort level that we're aiming for. In a sense, this is really our laboratory right here for Pueblo Verde. Uh, this is the place where we're seeing what doesn't work and we're making changes and we're, and we're seeing how those changes work. 